All right, this is a tour of our suite at what is, again, a rather unique hotel. Um, where are we? We're in 414, so we're right here. It's kind of a funky shape. <laughs> and okay, we switched hotels to get a suite to have more space since we're here for seven nights. When you come in, now here's all our luggage. There's this little, I don't know what this is, little coffee area. I mean, this is my stuff sitting here. And there's, oh, there's a microwave and a fridge down here. Look at that. Tucked away, whoops. With not, and a coffee maker and an ice bucket and a little basket of stuff. And then you have a desk area over here where Megan is sitting. And you can close this. Can't you? Yeah. You can close this. It's three panels. It's three panels, yeah. So you can close that to give some privacy. It doesn't block the light. But work here while you guys are sleeping. Yeah. And then over here, there's a nice big sofa and a big ottoman with a tray on top that you could move if you wanted to. And I'm pretty sure the bottom of this is a trundle bed. We'll check that out in a minute. And then over here, there's a big TV. Look at it, it's got my name on it. Because I'm a Marriott Bomboy member. They were very nice at the front desk. We did get here about an hour before check-in and they checked us in anyway. And there's two drawers here and a shelf underneath. And then there's two very nice queen beds, which we already inspected. And just one nightstand in between with an alarm clock, a phone, a freaky light, which I'll have to figure out, some two USBs and two plugs. And then in the drawer, here's the Bible and the Book of Mormon. And then here's the bathroom. And then what is this? Oh, sorry. oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a walk-in closet. Yeah, it's a pretty hard door to pull open, but there is a Look at Megan just walked in. <laughs> and there it's there's a lot of space in there. And there's a place to hang your clothes and a whole bunch of shelves, iron and ironing board, and an extra bunch of bedding, probably for the trundle bed. And the light I think turned on automatically when I opened the door. The one thing I'm not seeing is a luggage rack. So I'm not quite sure where we're gonna put our luggage. And then there is a full-length mirror, big full-length mirror right here, and then there's kind of this benchy thing in front of the window, but yeah, I think the reason it's designed like this is because you don't want it to block the air conditioning, so I don't think we'd want to put our suitcases there. And then our view is like a nice apartment complex, looks very new with these two apartment buildings. We're kind of on the dead end of a road in what appears to be a brand new development in Rentham. And that down there, white car, is our rental car, which we haven't named yet. We'll have to think about that and get back to you. Oh, and there's little reading, individual reading lights on the side. So maybe that thing in the middle isn't a light, I don't know. Okay, so that's the whole room, and it's a very nice suite. And I will get some footage. There's a very nice common area downstairs in the lobby, laundry, pool, fitness room, and everything, and I'll get some footage of that for you, too. <laughs> yeah, this isn't the easiest. Okay, so you have to push the desk chair in, move the ottoman completely out of the way, Okay, so this is the trundle bed. It's under the couch. I don't particularly enjoy this. It is a full-size twin mattress. I didn't realize it was going to be on the floor. Yeah, that's what a trundle bed is. I don't know what a trundle bed is. Okay. 
Leave it out so Ben can see what it's like. Don't pull it. Oh, it's actually separate. Yeah. Or did you pull it out too far? It's, I don't know. It came off that side and not off that side. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. This is the bathroom. This is beautiful. It does have the sliding barn door, which I don't love. And this looks kind of translucent. I'll stand on the other side of that. No. Can you see us? Okay, we can't see through it. In fact, it actually reflects a little bit. It's a mirror. Okay. So there's just one sink, but lots of counter space. A very nice walk-in shower. And then the toilet is over here by itself. But yeah, there's no... Yeah, the light is cool around the mirror. And it's like a double mirror. But there's no Morgan approved bathroom door. But you can lock it. You just noticed something. These are flat doors. And these, which must be the town place, are totally different. Let's see the ice machine. some frustrations with this hotel room it's a, a new it's obviously a very new property it smells very clean it's nice but several issues one we're realizing that this room actually isn't very big especially compared to that suite we had last night at the home two suites in um, Bloomington this room isn't really any much bigger than uh, just a standard hotel room with two queen beds it's definitely not as big as the Hamptons that we get that have two queen beds and a sofa in them. However, we could not find that particular room style at any Hampton Inn property anywhere in the southern three New England states. The other thing I'm not happy about is the location of this hotel is quite a bit farther away from everything we're going to be doing than I really wanted to be, but I couldn't find anything closer. Everything was either sold out or there just wasn't anything. And, I mean, anything that we'd want to stay at anyway. The, and the closer you got to the coast, which is pretty close to where Andrew is, it got too expensive and out of my budget. I mean, there were some really nice hotels like on the coast. They were like five, six, seven hundred dollars a night. So that's not going to happen. And then we pulled out the trundle bed and neither of the kids want to sleep on that because you're basically sleeping on a mattress on the floor. And it's kind of cheaply made and it was broken. Like the back left corner of it is broken. And now we can't get it back under the couch. And we're pretty frustrated with that. So we don't know what we're going to do. The other thing is there is literally no place in here to set your luggage. And I called downstairs and asked if they had any luggage racks and they said they don't. So I find that pretty weird because I don't know where they're expecting people to put your suitcases. There just isn't anything to set them on. And there really isn't even enough floor space to set them on the floor because there's barely enough room to walk. So, I mean, unless we put them on the floor in the closet, but I don't even know if there's enough room for that. Yeah. So we still haven't figured out what we're doing about our luggage. And then we're here for seven nights and there's three of us and there's one hand towel, one washcloth and three bath towels. We're going to need a lot more towels than that. So Ben and I went downstairs and asked for more towels and she seemed like totally annoyed and put out that I asked for more towels. 
But I told her what we had in the room, and I said, there's three of us, and we're here for seven nights. And she was like, oh, what room? And wrote it down on a post-it. So I don't know. Does that mean somebody's bringing me more towels? She didn't really say. Was it the same lady that checked us in? No, it was a different lady. The lady that checked us in was very nice. This was the girl who's been sitting there with her mask pulled down under her chin talking to her friend for the last hour. That did not work. Yeah, it did not seem... Yeah, the friend doesn't seem to work here. I don't know what's going on with that. And I also asked for an extra box of tissues because we always run out of tissues. The Home Two Suites last night had three garbage cans. One in the bathroom, a big one under the kitchen sink, and then one of those nice garbage and recycling things. I'm just going to go back to it again. I would definitely prefer to stay in Hilton Properties than Marriott Properties. It's just like, it's like they don't think of stuff. So we're a little frustrated now because we're not real happy with this room for seven nights. I'm not saying that I regret switching because I don't think being in just the two queen bed Hampton with no couch or anything would have been better, but this wasn't what I was hoping for. I look very tired. It's been a very long day and it's only, what time is it? It's like one or two, three in the afternoon. I don't know. It's, we've been up for 12 hours or something. Several updates. One, somebody from the front desk came and brought us a bag full of more towels and a box of Kleenex. So we have those now. And then she had a guy with her who came and looked at the trundle bed and took a picture of the broken spot and then got it pushed back under the sofa for us. Just now, which was probably 20, 30 minutes later, a different gentleman came up with a different trundle bed to replace the trundle bed. But we sent him away because we're like, we're not going to use it. I just hope that they replace it before the next guest. And then we came up with a solution to our luggage problem. This is the rack seat thing, which it Ben pointed out it really isn't the right height to be a seat that was over the air conditioning unit by the window. And I don't know if they're meaning for you to set your luggage on it or to sit on it or what, but if you put your luggage on it over there by the window, it would block the climate control. So the kids lifted it and moved it over here. And, you know, we have the chair moved out of the way for the moment, but we're going to put the chair back by the desk. But it just fit and had to go in by the couch a little bit. And we were able to just fit the three suitcases on it. So that was our solution that we came up with for what to do with the luggage. But be aware, there are no luggage racks at this hotel. <laughs> Okay, and the last thing I wanted to tell you was we had reserved a midsize SUV or whatever, something similar to what I have at home. And we waited a really long time, actually. I did not like how Enterprise did things here at the Boston airport. It was the same situation as it had been at Baltimore, where we got on a bus, big same kind of bus, um, accordion bus, but it was a much longer distance that we had to... because. We came in in Terminal A, and the bus had to go from Terminal A to two different stops at Terminal B, and then to the, basically like the subway system for Boston, stop. So it, it made three stops after picking us up before taking us to the rental car center. And then at the rental car center, the email that Enterprise sent me that I got when the plane landed said that I needed to go to a self-service kiosk but the self-service kiosks were all turned off and nobody was at the enterprise desk. And then Megan noticed a sign that said that if I was an enterprise customer, I was supposed to just go straight up to level three, which was the garage. I didn't like that because when we got the car in Baltimore, I did everything myself on the self-service kiosk. And then I just went to the garage and the lady just like basically took my name and took me to my car and I got my car and was on my way. Whereas here, we had to wait in a line, and they were taking an extremely long time with the people ahead of us, and they actually took them out of the car they gave them and ended up switching them to a different car because they had too much stuff and they couldn't fit it. And then they didn't have an SUV for me, which I was pretty annoyed about. And they ended up, they actually walked us around the parking ramp, like in a big circle before they realized they didn't have a car for me. 
And then they said, okay, well, we, I'm going to go get you one. So he, he, so we went back to where we were waiting. He went to get us one, comes back, says, sorry, I don't have one. Can't find one. And I was pretty annoyed because I had specifically gotten an SUV because we couldn't fit our suitcases in the trunk of a car. And so he said, since we don't have an SUV for you, we're going to upgrade you to this Jeep. And it was like a, like a Jeep, like not like just the brand Jeep, but like oh, the lighting in here is terrible, but like an actual Jeep Jeep, like an army Jeep kind of thing. And I did not feel comfortable driving that at all. And I re the only reason I was getting the SUV was because I wanted more trunk space for our suitcases. But I definitely didn't want to trade that for horrible gas mileage, which I probably would have gotten in the Jeep. So then I told him, never mind, can I please just have a regular car, a midsize car? And he had a whole bunch of those sitting there. So he gave me a white Nissan Sentra. It's brand new. It only has 3,000 miles on it. And it's okay. It's I don't like it as much as the car rental car we had, the Toyota. the Toyota Corolla that we had in Baltimore. It doesn't have all the same features and stuff. And <laughs> poor Ben couldn't get out of the car. <laughs> we thought we were locked in the car. And we finally realized that the child lock was engaged on the doors on the back of the car. And I had to get out and figure it out on the doors to, so Ben could get out. This trunk was worse. He couldn't put the suitcases in the way we had them in in the Toyota Corolla last time. You know, upright, side by side. He couldn't get them in like that. They would not fit upright at all. So like the, it was, the, the trunk was, yeah. So he had to, he put them in for us. And he had to put two in the bottom and then put the flat. And then put the third one on top of it. Like a Triangle. Yeah, and the only reason we were okay, we're like, because eh, the kids are like, Mom, are you sure? And I'm like, it's fine because we're staying at one hotel the whole time we're here, and we're not going to five different hotels like we were on the last trip, and we're not going to be putting them in and out. So that's what we did. So <sighs> kind of a long, stressful day, and not too happy with the hotel situation, and not too happy with the car. I mean, the car's fine. But it wasn't what I reserved, and they didn't have what I had booked for me. So that goes back to that shortage of cars problem that, I mean, at least we got a car. But there's still a problem with them having enough cars and the right kind of cars when you rent a car. And it's very expensive. This car rental cost over $1,000 for seven days. So just be aware of that, that car rentals are super expensive. Uh, one thing I wanted to add about the hotel, which I forgot to tell you guys before, which I'll get a little footage here in a second. We noticed there is a basketball court and a shuffleboard court in the back of the hotel. And, the pool. and there's also an, an outdoor seating area with a fire pit and some grills. grills and stuff that you can use. So we'll show you those real quick as we leave here. <laughs> So that's where we're staying and that's what we have for car and that's what happened with the hotel. Give me a thumbs up if you appreciated this video. If you're not subscribed yet to my channel, be sure to subscribe. And thanks for watching everybody and safe travels.